Raster calculator is used quite often in ARC GIS Pro raster processing, so we'll introduce it here. It's found in the analysis tools, so toolboxes here. Might get favorites, but you should then go to the toolboxes down in the spatial analyst tools in map algebra raster calculator. So double left click starts it again. You could also search in that geoprocessing window. Now you're given a framework here that has the rasters that are currently displayed, the operations, and then a window to build an expression. I'm going to right click and paste or expression I copied um, typed in before because I don't want you to sit through watching me try and type it and it takes uh, a bit of time. So this is a set of operations that identifies some map algebra here. You should know what that is from reading the book. This is the conditional function that we've described and it takes condition and if the condition is true it applies one value that follows. If it's false, it applies the next value that follows. So it says the condition if this valley 3 is null, so I'm if I'm in this area here outside of where valley 3 exists out here, I want to apply my old data values, the old DM. But if it's not null, if I that it's some other value, all those other values, if it's in this region where I have the new better data, I want to substitute in this valley 3 data. Now again, you have to be careful in typing this in. This is case sensitive, so small con rather than capital con won't give you a functional operation. You have to make sure that you have quotes around the values here, and I'll show you how to build an expression in just a minute. First, I want to show you how it runs, and then I basically add my output name here. So I'll call this just con out, and then I can go ahead and run it. Now, if it runs well, as this did, the new data show up, you get a green check mark that says it ran well, and then you uh, can verify that your data is the data you want and go on to the next step. A couple of things about building the expressions. I can go down here and find the list of expressions I want. The problem is you have to be very careful in how you apply them when you build it by clicking because it will add these commas and um, parentheses, and it won't necessarily put them in the right place for proper interpretation for the expression that you want. The con function will work with one or two or three parameters. So because there's variability, you have to make sure that you build the expression um, carefully and read the documentation. So I do this con is null. It's doing the comparison here, the condition on the is null, but the is null, I want to make sure that I get the right value in here. So see, I double left click and it puts that value in. And then there's the if true and if false. So if I, if this value three is null, I can double left click here. I want to put that and then I have to position my cursor and double left click on the valley three. Now note, while I'm building my expression, it says it's an illegal expression. It can't parse it until I've finished. If I get rid of this comma, it would be okay. You could just apply one set of operations. If I want to add this value here at the end, it'll apply another. Now, it, notice it still shows that I have an illegal expression. That doesn't go away until you click off it and you have a correct expression. Now I have to put in a comma here afterwards to get a correct expression um, and make sure I get rid of the space, the additional spaces. So building a proper, properly syntaxed uh, expression here is a little bit complicated and it bears going in and looking at the documentation carefully. The extra spaces that show up cause issues and not having commas or parentheses in the right places. Um, cause issues. So I'll go this con out too because it tells me how oh, that one already exists from the time I just ran it before. So you can build the expression by first forming it correctly and then copying and pasting it in from a uh, word processor or other tool or being careful about typing it in here, building it from the tools that are available. So again, I go ahead and run. It runs through and creates the output. 
So a quick introduction to the raster calculator. We'll be using it again in various other operations in this lab and later labs.